Chapter 18 After this David subdued and humbled the Philistines by conquering Gath and its surrounding towns. David also conquered the land of Moab, and the Moabites became David's subjects and brought him tribute money. Then David destroyed the forces of King Hadadezer of Zobah as far as Hamath, when Hadadezer marched out to strengthen his control along the Euphrates River. David captured one thousand chariots, seven thousand charioteers, and twenty thousand foot soldiers. Then he crippled all but one hundred of the chariot horses. When Arameans from Damascus arrived to help Hadadezer, David killed twenty-two thousand of them. Then he placed several army garrisons in Damascus, the Aramean capital, and the Arameans became David's subjects and brought him tribute money. So the Lord gave David victory wherever he went. David brought the gold shields of Hadadezer's officers to Jerusalem, along with a large amount of bronze from Hadadezer's cities of Teba and Kun. Later Solomon melted the bronze and used it for the temple. He molded it into the bronze sea, the pillars, and the various bronze utensils used at the temple. When King Toi of Hamath heard that David had destroyed the army of King Hadadezer of Zobah, he sent his son Joram to congratulate David on his success. Hadadezer and Toi had long been enemies, and there had been many wars between them. Joram presented David with many gifts of gold, silver, and bronze. King David dedicated all these gifts to the Lord, along with the silver and gold he had taken from the other nations he had subdued, Edom, Moab, Ammon, Philistia, and Amalek. Abishai, son of Zeruiah, destroyed 18,000 Edomites in the Valley of Salt. He placed army garrisons throughout Edom, and all the Edomites became David's subjects. This was another example of how the Lord made David victorious wherever he went. David reigned over all Israel and was fair to everyone. Joab, son of Zeruiah, was commander of the army. Jehoshaphat, son of Ahilud, was the royal historian. Zadok, son of Ahitub, and Ahimelech, son of Abiathar, were the priests. Zeruiah was the court secretary. Benaiah, son of Jehoiada, was captain of the king's bodyguard. David's sons served as the king's chief assistants.